Now this is the type of news that if I had to guess would be coming out of Japan. But it isn't. And that might make it even more newsworthy, except for the fact that it can't be, because none of this matters at all. What's up, bitches? It's me, Noah Galoon. Pokemon Go reached critical mass almost immediately upon its release, and lots of other businesses have tried to hitch their wagons to that uh, Jigglypuff or whatever. Although, frankly, T, it really should be a Wigglytuff, because a Jigglypuff gets upgraded to Wigglytuff, and if you're gonna hitch your wagon to something, I feel like you wanna go with the upgraded Pokemon. But whatever, it's. You, you, you produce the show. That included the Australian hamburger spot Down N Out. Starting in late August, they started slinging Pokemon themed burgers called. Pokebergs, which they were selling in three varietals. Up until just a couple of days ago, you could get a Pikachu, a Bulbasaur, or a Charmander. Tino's knows what I'm talking about, loves those things. Uh, so yeah, just so you guys know, those are all real words, and I said them on purpose. The Pikachu burger came stuffed with cheese fries, onions, and Thousand Island dressing, and had Dorito Pikachu ears. The Charmander uh, had spicy sauce and orange lava cheese, and lastly, the Bulbasaur had lettuce, pickles, onions, and a broccoli topper, because everyone with me together, let's say it. Everybody likes the Brocka Burger. Even though the uh, burgers differed in toppings, they were all the same price, which ran about 11 and a half bucks American, but they only made a limited number per day starting at 5 p.m. Uh, they limited it to one customer uh, and concluded the limited run of the Pokebergs on September 3rd. Not only did they limit the Pokebergs to one per customer, customers also couldn't pick which one they got. You'd just be handed one of the three options at random upon ordering. But if you're in Australia and you don't care about that and just want to try one of these things, uh, feel free to harass them on their Facebook page and just say, hey, where are my Pokebergs at? Or, you know, something more eloquent. Or, better option, don't do any of that and find something productive to do with your life. Host a YouTube show, for example. That's it for us today. I'm Noah Galutin. Subscribe to Taste for more episodes of The Food Feeder, where we talk about ghost burglars, pokey burglars, ninja burglars, pretty much any kind of burglar that is trying way too hard every single week.